This lesson helps you understand how to describe the shape of data distributions. To describe data distributions, use vocabulary like symmetrical, where the left side of the data looks like the right side, or peak, the most frequently occurring values, or the mode of the data. A cluster are data values that are grouped closely together. And a gap is an interval with no data values. For example, this data set is symmetrical. If you draw a vertical line through the middle of the data, the left side looks like the right side. This data set is not symmetrical. It has a cluster of data values between 10 and 12. The gaps 9 and 13 have no data values. And the value 10 is a peak because it's the most frequently occurring value. For this data set, the shape of the distribution is not symmetric. There's a gap from 19 to 21. There are clusters from 16 to 18 and 22 to 25. The distribution has a peak at 22. There are no outliers. From a box plot, you can't identify gaps, peaks, and clusters. However, you can see that the distribution is symmetric, since if you draw a line down the middle, the left side looks like the right side. And there are no outliers. This line plot shows the number of states visited by students in a class. The data are not symmetric. And there's an outlier. In this case, calculate the median and inner quartile range. Use these values to describe the center and spread of the data. So excluding the outlier, the median is 12. The first quartile is 11. The third quartile is 13 and the inner quartile range is 13 minus 11, or 2. The data are centered around 12 states. The spread of the data around the center is about 2 states. There's a cluster of data between 10 and 13 states. There's a gap between 15 and 18, and there's a peak at 12 states. If the data are symmetric, then calculate the mean and mean absolute deviation. Use these numbers to describe the center and spread of the data. The data are centered around $35. Since the mean absolute deviation is approximately equal to 2, most of the data are spread between $33 and $37. This lesson helps you understand how to describe the shape of data distributions. And this lesson is brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before. <laughs>